Welcome back to Great Day St. Louis. Each year, the United Way of Greater St. Louis helps 1 million people right here in the region that it serves, which is 16 counties in Illinois and Missouri. But this is not possible without your help. And today, we're so happy to have the president and the CEO of the United Way of Greater St. Louis, Michelle Tucker, with us this morning. Michelle, thanks so much for being here. Oh, I appreciate you having me. Of course, the United Way of Greater St. Louis starts its annual community campaign soon, and that's where you'll be looking to garner monetary support from the community. Tell us a little bit more about your efforts in the community and how you're making a difference right here in this region. Well, let me just start by saying we can't do it without the community's help, but we are a nonprofit organization that helps over 160 nonprofits through funding and training, and we help to mobilize them when people need help. And so we're helping to keep these nonprofits resilient and responsive when people experience challenges. Challenges that could uh, range from just needing childcare support, job training, uh, housing, uh, the list goes on, food. <laughs> you really help others help even more people. It's like a ripple effect into the community and it just spreads. Absolutely, and it takes all of us. Mm -hmm. Now, Michelle, you're very humble, but she's celebrating a big anniversary. You just celebrated your fifth anniversary as the president and CEO of the United Way. For you, what have these past five years been like? Wow, you know, five years, it's actually pretty incredible. It's, it's like I blinked and it was five <laughs> years later. But uh, I actually came out of the corporate sector. And so I was in corporate America for 20 years. And when I decided to step over into the nonprofit sector, it was because I wanted to help to bridge the gap between the two sectors. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, it's been this amazing journey. And I've been able to bring former peers closer to the nonprofit sector to just increase their understanding around what's happening on the ground. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's talk a little bit more about that community giving mission and why it's so important for people to take ownership of ourselves and our role in getting involved. In your own words, can you explain how would you say that, you know, the, the health of the community is really reliant on, um, on us all buying in? Yeah, well, I call it the power of United Impact. And I think togetherness is like our superpower here in the community. And so when we all work together, we can make such an impact. The one thing about the campaign is that it's a time when we all sort of mobilize into one campaign to make a really big difference for neighbors, like family members, colleagues, friends. Um, like I said, it's when we band together that we make the biggest difference for the community. People always like to see and hear where their money goes. Can you give some examples of some recent um, notable community efforts and the impact that these campaigns have had on the community? Well, let me just tell you that every year we're able to impact over 1 million people across the regional area. And our footprint is a 16 county area. And so it spills over Illinois and into Missouri, so the 16 county MSA. So over a million people, which equates to about one in three people that we help, like I said, through challenges and, and struggles. Uh, one example would be helping over 160,000 people last year to connect to es essential resources. We also receive through our 211 hotline, which is a 24 hour helpline, we receive over 200,000 phone calls where we are able to help callers and those who reach out to connect to needed resources. And so it helps to navigate to those resources. Those are so many lives that you're impacting. And you think about a parent who you might help today, that's gonna impact their, their child and the next generation too. Keeps going back to that ripple effect. So what are some other ways that people can get involved in this mission and support the United Way even beyond this big campaign that's happening right now? Oh my goodness, like every day you can find a way to get involved with the United Way. And so I'll ask that people go to helpingpeople.org to find out more about what's underway, opportunities. But one of the things I like to talk about is people power. Mm -hmm. So there's a way to volunteer each and every day. There are thousands of opportunities out there and our nonprofit partners just load the opportunities. They're the most vital opportunities that we need people uh, plugging into. And so you can go to our website. You can actually go to stlvolunteer.org if you want to go straight to the volunteer link. But I'd say go to helpingpeople.org to learn more about United Way and how to get involved. It's a great starter place. Time, talent, treasure, you so many it. ways to get involved. And it's just great to hear more about what the United Way does right here, right here. among our friends and family. Michelle, thank you so much.
much. Congratulations on your anniversary. And again, to learn more, go to helpingpeople.org and get involved. Kent? Yeah. Congratulations, young lady. That is awesome. Keep fighting the good fight. I've heard Michelle speak before about, what is it, togetherness is our superpower? I love that. Yeah. That, that resonates, Stuff. doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah. All right.